In the last half hour, the water regulator Ofwat has announced that, cust uh, that customer bills are proposed to increase on average by £19 a year in each of the next five years, a third less than the bill increase the water companies wanted. Well, we are joined by the Senior Director for the Price Review at Offwalk, Chris Walters. And by environmental campaigner Fergal Sharkey, who is here in the studio. Um, it's obviously a terrible mess, Fergal. Yeah. Um, prices up, underinvestment, all of the contamination in the water, big bonuses, companies in uh, trouble. And now we know more price rises for consumers. Who is to blame for the mess that we are in? Um, I can say this as a former regulator. The regulator, the whole system of oversight of this industry has failed. It's failed customers. It's failed the environment. In a word, off what's to blame and should take responsibility. OK, well, shall we talk to Chris Walters? Uh, Mr Walters, you're to blame. Uh, good morning and thanks very much for having me on the programme. You won't be surprised to hear I, I don't take that view. Um, it is true that the sector needs to turn itself around and that's why today we're announcing the biggest ever investment package in water and wastewater services to safeguard the health of our rivers and our seas, to improve the resilience of our water supplies and to raise the bar on the day-to-day -day performance of companies in areas that customers really care about, um, like sewage spills, like leakage, like customer service, and like drinking water quality. So why wasn't that tackled before? I think that's Fergal Sharkey's point. So the most high-profile issue I think mentioned there is uh, sewage spills. Um, when information finally came to light about the seriousness of that in 2021, we acted immediately. <laughs> Off what launched now, its biggest... I've got to say that that, that that is a challenging thing to accept. Maybe you personally didn't know about it. But people have been talking about this, campaigners like Fergal, have been talking about this for way before that. And, indeed, the bonuses, the lack of investment was there way before that. In a strange kind of way, if you didn't know that the sewage was happening, you certainly must have known that the investment wasn't happening. The scale of the issue became apparent in, in 2021. Um, but what I think the issue points to is a need for much greater coordination between all the stewards of the system. That does include off what? Yes, I accept that. It includes the Environment Agency and its Welsh counterpart, National Resources Wales. It includes the UK and Welsh governments and it includes uh, the companies themselves so we can better oversee, better coordinate and better plan investment, especially environmental investment. And Ofwat looks forward uh, to welcome, uh, to, looks forward to working with uh, the new government of the UK and with continuing to work with the Welsh government to ensure that we achieve those improvements. The problem with this, um, this conversation is you're trying to make us feel good about what is going to happen in the future. There's going to be investment and uh, to feel less bad about the fact that prices are going to rise. But I think what people want to know is why we've got into this mess in the first place. It might be the Environment Agency, uh, <coughs> excuse me, were, um, were not policing what was happening um, hard enough. And it may be that some of the companies were irresponsible or short-sighted in their financial strategies, whether they were paying bonuses or dividends or not investing. But the people who are in charge of making sure the companies did what they were supposed to do mm. is you. It was off what's job to make sure that the investment and the pricing and the dividends all came together as a coherent package. And the question I'm asking you is, do you think, looking back, did off what do its job to the best of its ability? Did it do it well? Or do you accept that, in part, this is an off what failure? Well, off what is the economic regulator for water and wastewater services, Ed, and what that means is it's our job to scrutinise proposals that are made to us to ensure that they are good value for money. Yep. Um, if we knew then what we know now, could and should we have pushed companies to put more into those proposals? I think it's fair to say that, yes, I think so we probably when you could. scrutinising these proposals, do you, are you privy to the amount of money going to investment, the amount of money going as bonuses, I assume that you are, the amount of profits the company are making. You know, when you look at the balance sheet, it feels very obvious to somebody as ignorant as myself that there was an issue. So we have new powers this year to prevent the payment of dividends and executive bonuses 
where they're not justified by mm. improvements in company performance. Uh, we have launched investigations into that. And if we find that there are, is a case to answer, we won't hesitate to act and take action against OK, companies. well, look, you've taken action uh, against the water companies and their requests for we, the customers, to pay more. And you haven't granted them their ask. For instance, Sems Water wanted around 50% increase. Uh, it's to, uh, that you've agreed 23%, £19 a year. But uh, people watching this morning who are getting in touch straight away and people generally think... Why should we be paying at all? We don't have any choice what water companies we use. It's not like we can go elsewhere. You get the company where you live. You get to swim in the rivers that they've messed up. We have no choice. Why are we paying at all? Well, the, the model we have of investment in the, in the water sector in the UK is a privatised industry. So that means that investors uh, contribute up front to get the ball rolling, to kickstart that investment, and then customers pay for that investment over time. And our job as the economic regulator is to scrutinise those proposals to ensure that they are value for money. And we've done that for... About, about, uh, Mr Walters, let's ask you one more question about the past, because I know you need to leave to do another interview. You said you um, have been given new powers, and you've also said if you had known what you know now, you would have done things differently. Are you saying the decisions you made two or three years ago, which were clearly, in retrospect, the wrong decisions, are you saying that was because you didn't ask for the right information or that you were misled and not given the full information? And if you'd had that information, did you have the powers to act or did you not have enough powers to act two years ago? Who was at fault in leading you to make bad decisions? The proposals that were made to us, with the wisdom of hindsight, didn't have the investment that they should have had, that the public deserves. And our job was to scrutinise those, and we did that. And, but I said, if so we'd known... So what went wrong, then? Because now, with hindsight, you look back. What went wrong at the time? Were you not given the right information? Did you fail to ask for it? Did you not scrutinise it enough? Or were you Because misled? if you're looking back and saying that that was wrong, what did go wrong? You must have had an internal chat about it, at the very least. On the specific issue of storm overspills, uh, overflows, um, the scale of, of spills did become clear. The data wasn't out there. It wasn't an avail available at the scale until right. 2021. And at that point, we did launch our biggest ever investigation. What we also did was to bring forward £2 billion of investment at no extra expense to customers to start reducing spills from storm overflows straight away. Today's announcement includes a further £9 billion, over £9 billion, to reduce uh, spills at 2,500 storm overflows by over 40% by the year 2030. We know you've got to go, and thank you very much for talking to us this morning. We appreciate coming on You're and speaking welcome. about thank it. You I've very got much. to say we have Fergal Sharkey here, who we're going to now. He's saying what you just said is nonsense. Would you like to respond to that before we go to him and let you go? Uh, I, I don't accept that it is nonsense, I think. Announcing the biggest increase in investment uh, to protect the health of our rivers and our waterways, uh, to safeguard security of water supplies and to get companies to perform better is what, the, is what the public needs and what the public deserves. OK, well, look, very good to speak to you this morning. Uh, we'll, we'll let you go. Um, he says you're saying nonsense, not him. Um, it, he's becoming very selective with his uh, recollections and his memory and, in fact, showing the now contemptuous approach that Offwat has towards the consumer. The reason for that, the UK government was taken to the European Court of Justice in 2012 and found to be acting illegally in breach of the law by the way they were allowing water companies to dump sewage into the environment, into our rivers. The then minister wrote to the water companies in 2013 berating them for that failure and demanding action. So to say this was something they suddenly so realised three years ago... That it's it's an untruth. When he argues that the scale of it wasn't clear, uh, is he saying that what the level was at 2012 was all right? Um, what he's saying is that he clearly has a recollection what the court said was ah. sewage should only ever be dumped in exceptional situations, mm. i.e., why do you need to measure something shouldn't be happening at all? The truth is, off what has utterly failed. And I might remind off what, and I have the written evidence, they have now acknowledged the water companies have a legal obligation to build, operate and maintain properly functioning sewage systems and they've had all of the funding for 33 years. 
they need to do that job, and water companies have admitted it's um, true. They've um, had our money. And what is the answer to my question I put to the regulator? He said, if we had known then what we know now, we would have acted differently. Did they know everything well, they, they needed to know back then, or were they misled? Uh, well, clearly they did know, because mm. the court told them what was going on was illegal in 2012. Mm. So you've just had the highest court in Europe tell you you're acting illegally, what mm. further do you need to understand? And can credibly, off what, with today's announcement, persuade you and persuade all of us that this is now a plan which will be fair to consumers, deliver the investment we need in a way which will work for the companies? Um, based on that performance and based on what I've read so far, absolutely not. Southern Water, from my calculations, are actually getting a 43% increase over the next five years. Thames Water, 23%. Yorkshire Water, 33%. The truth is, off what has failed, and I think it's time we, as the general public and bill payers, started holding them properly to account so how and making do we our do rates that? known. Because people are going to instinctively think, well, I just won't pay. But um, that doesn't help either, does it? Well, I'm actually thinking off my feet right now, but I'm beginning to genuinely fail based on this performance today. It's time we actually now take to the streets. And if you're and the government... start putting people on the streets to send a clear message to off what. We've had enough of the greed, we've had enough of the exploitation, the rip-off. It ends here and it ends today. And what would you tell Steve Reid, the new Environment Minister? He's talking today about putting these companies into special measures, even having criminal penalties. What should he do now, today, about the price increases, about investment plans and about off what? If I was Steve, I'm aware that the uh, bosses have been called in this afternoon to meet with government. There might be a very long-sighted, very loud conversation and the water companies may not be doing an awful lot of the talking. I think what we need to think about right now is the future of this water company, the industry we want to see. I think today's decision was about off what's future. And again, it's failed. And I'm actually sitting here randomly off the top of my head. I may come back to you, but I think we need to probably after the conference season, put people on the street to send the demonstration of the depth of the fury and anger that I know exists out there. And to avoid that, what would you do about Off What? I think Off What and the Environment Agency needs a complete written branch review. It's proved itself to be incompetent, incapable of overseeing these companies. I think it's got to go, and I think the Environment Agency needs to be added to that list. Virgil, thanks very much indeed. Always a pleasure to talk to you and always deliver with such passion because you care, you know, and you care. Good to speak to you this morning. Thank you once again. Thank you very much indeed.